Kicket 8 offers improved grid preferences in the schematic editor by introducing grid overrides. And this also works in the PCB editor, I think, and I'm going to test it in a moment. With this feature, we can force a certain grid when performing operations such as moving or placing objects in the schematic editor. So one of the really nice things about this feature is that I can switch between different grids just by clicking on a different object without having to explicitly set the grid to something different, like going through the menus here. Let me show you how this works. It's a real time saver. So first of all, if we go into, oops, not this one, if we go into the settings for the entire KitKat application, you'll see there's grids here under schematic editor and PCB editor. And this also works for the footprint editor as well and the symbol editor. So there's a lot of uh, homogenization across the entire set of KitKat apps. I'm just going to demonstrate this new feature in the schematic editor and it works the same way elsewhere as well. Let's go into grids under schematic editor. Just going to minimize the rest to reduce confusion here. All right, you can see I can set a bunch of grids in any size that I like. I can give them a name, for example, text. And for the X, let's make it, I'm just for square grids let's make that uh, 15 since there's no other 15 and set it like that so you can see now it's got a label and uh, there are the settings and I can then set up my text any text object in my schematic to automatically switch my active grid to the one that I have set in the grid overrides here and you can see that that is selected I can uh, deselect of course these overrides so that the grid does not change automatically when I select one of those types of objects. Uh, for graphics, I've set it to 25, just for the sake of this example. And for wires, I'm going to go for 10, actually. And I can actually change that. So if I can, uh, no, I can't make an edit. So what I'll do is I'm going to delete it and just add another one here for graphics. Make that 25. All right, so for graphics, I'll set it to 25. Now let's pick any grid at all. I'm just going to go for say the 100 grid. So now let's pick a text item. Uh, where's the text item? Down here. All right, notice my grid is set to 100. When I click on the text item to pick it, now I've got a much smaller grid than 100. It's not mentioning that, I've, that the grid has changed, but as I'm moving it around, I can see that this is a smaller grid. So my default is 100. My uh, smaller grid for the text that I've selected is whatever I've set in the preferences and I've overwritten the grid in this case. If I take something else like a graphic object and I try to draw, this is now also I believe 25. So it's using its own grid size for graphics, yeah, 25. Then uh, let's try something else like wires. You can see that this is pretty gigantic at 100 mils. I'm gonna pick a wire and make a drawing. You can see that that is huge compared to the circle and the text. And that is using the override grid, which is 100 mils specifically for this type of object, which is the grid. I go back into my settings and change that to something more reasonable. Let's say I'm going to add a new one. Y is, let's make it zero, um, I'll make it five, five mils and set Y is to the Y is grid size that I've just created and pick a new wire. Start from here. You can see now I've got much finer control. Great. Just stop that. And let's go to the text. I'm just going to move this text item. Can see that this is now using its own grid. If I go for the circle graphic item, uses its own grid, it's 25 mils. If I go for a, a other object like this capacitor, it has got its own grid, which I believe, let's see what the override is. It's 100, it seems. I haven't set it to something specific. Connected items, 25, yeah, 25 mils. I'm just going to uh, disable that particular override. Switch my grid to something different. Let's say to 50. And now move this capacitor around. You can see that it's following the currently selected grid size, which is 50. 
back to the text 25. If I try to draw something, let's say add a wire from here to here, that's using the grid 5. Okay. So I'll do this. So this, in my opinion, is a real time saver. So many times I've been uh, struggling to make connections and move things to their appropriate location, only to find out later that the grids put that for the specific item that I was working with wasn't matching uh, the currently selected grid. So with this type of customization and, and overrides, this is going to allow me to seamlessly switch between grids based on the specific needs of my design and whatever it is that I'm working on at a particular time.